Minnesotans like to joke that we only get two seasons here. We have winter and road construction. And although it can be quite annoying, we all know that it, building roads and highways are necessary to maintain our city's structure and to maintain the transport throughout our cities. But wouldn't it be great if we could just rapidly and dynamically build and destroy roads so as to best benefit the city at that time? Well, that's exactly how cells utilize their transport structures called microtubules. Microtubules are able to rapidly switch between growing and shrinking and back again in order to dynamically provide structure and highways for molecular motors to walk on in the cell. And just like the devastation that's caused when our roads and highways are misregulated or not functioning, microtubule malfunction can wreak havoc on the cell and can contribute to many human diseases, including cancer and Alzheimer's. In fact, many cancer therapeutics target microtubules in order to slow the progression of the disease. However, we still do not fully understand these very important and complicated structures. For instance, I told you that microtubules can rapidly grow and shrink, and they can switch between those two states. But why does a growing microtubule start to shrink? Well, in the first part of my thesis, I found out that this process isn't random, but instead that microtubules that have been growing for longer periods of time are more likely to start to shrink than microtubules that haven't been growing for very long periods of time. And this is in part due to the microtubule structure itself becoming less and less stable as it grows. It's sort of like if a brick path was being built and the bricklayer decided to incorporate less and less bricks as time went on. You can imagine at the very end of the path, it would be very unstable because the bricks would not be packed tightly and would not be able to stay together nicely. And in the case of the microtubules, this unstable end then causes the entire microtubule structure to fall apart. In the second part of my thesis, I'm studying another important aspect of microtubule regulation called post-translational modifications. These modifications are thought to act as road signs, communicating to the molecular motors and other microtubule-associated proteins, and they are also constantly changing and dynamic. Can you imagine if you're driving on a road that not only grows and shrinks while you're on it, but also changes its road signs? Neither can I, but I'm working to <laughs> describe this very fluid, yet coordinated transport system, so that one day we might understand the hustle and bustle of the cell's inner city. Thank you.